What's up everyone? I'm your female Taku and I'm here to review episode 4 of Tales of the Stereo of the Cross. Another really adventurous episode. Once again, I get everything that I want in a high fantasy anime. I mean, when they were going through the ruins, guys, that was classic. When you had to like... Uh, get get like uh, some sort of valuable item that you have to unlock or open a hidden door, a secret passageway, and then there's dragons, and then oh my gosh, a booby trap and everything, and then oh my gosh, you find corpses everywhere, like just honestly, just perfect, 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 great high fantasy anime. I love Tales of the Syria. It is just so much fun to watch. And Lila, Lila, Lila is love. Lila is life, Lila is mine. At the beginning of the episode, the Seraphim tried to communicate with Alicia, and it was pretty interesting how they did that. It took a while, but then they were able to do it like so they, he had to hold his breath and, and, and hold his nose, like pinch his nose and everything. <laughs> and uh, 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 Lila, she was actually able to communicate with Alicia, and then Alicia was also able to chat with Mikleo, so I'm just like, that is so cool. Honestly, I really like it when they show Sore communicating with Mikleo. Like, you, you actually saw Sore push Mikleo towards Alicia at first. And, of course, you, you didn't see Sore push him. You just, it was just, you know, like he was pushing air. Like, there was nothing there. And then all of a sudden, the next scene, we see Mikleo right in front of Alicia. And I'm just like, I love how they do that. That is too cool. And the animation this episode, once again, they make my eyes melt. I cannot take it. The beauty is too much for my eyes. I'm going to die. When Lila was using her powers when the Hellion came, oh, that was so cool. Just the animation that this episode was just spot on. I just don't understand. You photo, where you get this money from? All this money. I know you got a lot of money after the, the Fate anime, but seriously, like, there's no way. There's no way, like, where are you getting this money? Gosh, man. It must be investing in some pretty good stock. OST was also amazing. Just, uh, Tales of Asteria, it's not the best this anime season, to me at least, but it's just so much fun. It's so much fun. And I'm just enjoying this more because I'm getting what I want. Uh, down to earth, high fantasy anime. It is so much fun. That OST accompanied every scene perfectly. It was epic. It was adventurous. It was grand scale. I, I loved it. We learn about the Lord of Calamity. And Lord of Calamity, basically, if you face to face with this dude, then you can get consumed. And even Sore, even though he's a shepherd, he will also get consumed by the Lord of Calamity at the current state today is in. Overall, not really too much for me to say here other than just me repeating myself being like, oh my gosh, this is so much fun. But honestly, I am really enjoying Tales of Zestiria, The Cross. It is a joy every single time I watch this anime. I know this review is rather short, so I apologize, but there's just really this, I, this was more of a reaction, I suppose. I don't know. I just, mm, it's just a lot of fun. And Lila, Ah, contender for best girl of the season. But I know a lot of people are telling me that the best girl wars will be real in Tales of Hysteria. I'm already having a really bad best girl war in rewrite. I do not need another best girl war for when it comes to Tales of Hysteria, the, X, the I mean the cross, because in the end, when I have to choose my best girl for the season, it's just gonna be, uh, it's gonna be torture. Too many best girls, there's too many. The season's on fire, man. Anyway, catch you tomorrow as I live react to Mob Psycho 100 and review Danganronpa 3 Miraihen. I'm your female otaku, sayonara.